Hey crafty friends, it's Joy here. Welcome back to my channel. I am super excited to be sharing Simon Hurley's new neon lunar paste. Thank you scrapbook.com for sending these to me to play with. Y'all, this totally brings me back to the 80s when I was a kid. So here we have Hot Mess, look at that pink. Mood Ring, this is a fun kind of purple. Then we have No Chill, Voltage, Look at that neon yellow, it's so fun. Yellow jacket, this is kind of like between the yellow and the orange. Then we have tangent, and then finally we have dart frog. Now I've created two cards for uh, using all of these colors. My first card, I'm gonna start with three of the colors and we're just gonna swipe down. So I'm using the hot mess, mood ring, and no chill. I am using some scrapbook.com's mixed media black cardstock. So I'm gonna start by putting some of this lunar paste at the top. This is gonna be in thirds. I love it, it's a good consistency. Like it's not super thick, it's nice and thin and it works, it just, you move it around so easily. So I'm just gonna, like you saw, swipe that down with my palette knife. I'm trying to go in one swipe and not mess it up. <laughs> The next color is the mood ring. This is that kind of pinky purple, more to the purple side. I do wanna make sure I get enough to move it down. And I do want it to overlap slightly over the previous color. And these colors, it doesn't matter if they mix a little bit, they're not gonna turn into some funky brown color. So again, let's just swipe that down. And then I'm wiping the excess off my palette knife. Let's use our third color. This is No Chill. We're gonna do this. I'm just making sure I can get it. <laughs> Getting my palette knife clean because that I don't wanna have it too mixed up. So let's open this up. Ooh, that blue color is so pretty. Adding this to the top of our cardstock. Again, making sure it's, you know, it's a good amount. It's not over, but it's a good amount. I had a little too much, so I took some of that extra off. Okay, let's swipe down one more time. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, we're gonna, then I messed up. So then I had to do it one more time really carefully. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna set that aside to dry. Our second card. I am using the Starburst stencil. This is a two-piece stencil, so there is some dry time in between. We're gonna use the remaining colors, and then we're also going to add the hot mess. So I am using, this is Voltage. So we have four colors left because there's seven colors total. I am just going to add this on some of the areas. I want these colors to overlap. I want each one of these starbursts to have multiple colors. This really feels like fireworks to me. So that's what was in my mind. That color was yellow jacket. And I'm making sure to not go too thick because I do want this to dry in a reasonable amount of time. Then our next color is tangent. Let's get that. Look at that fun orange. This really totally brings me back to the 80s. I grew up, I was a kid in the 80s and I just you know you had neon everything like your neon jelly bracelets and you had like neon um shoelaces and like when you'd go skating like your shirts and certain clothes would be neon it was just so much fun okay then we have dart frog here we're going to finish out with this color and once I was done with this I did set it aside to dry and I went and had some lunch and by the time I was eating lunch and came back, it was dry enough to do my second stencil. Again, because I'm not going super thick, it's a nice thin layer. And so yeah, it'll, it'll dry fast. I want you guys to let me know in the comments what is your favorite color so far? Now that you're seeing some of, the, now that you've seen all the colors in action, what is your favorite color? I really love the hot mess and the no chill. So the pink and blue, I really love that. But that tangent orange is also really fun. Look at that pop against that black cardstock. Okay, I'm back from lunch now. <laughs> it's dry. Let's do the second stencil. I am using hot mess for the stars. And once I put this on here, this thing is so awesome. I definitely wanted to use these against the black cardstock because I felt like the neon is just really gonna pop against that. 
and I love it. So definitely clean your stencil immediately, like go wash it so it doesn't stick to your stencil. Let's peel this back and take a look at this. And I'm working on scrapbook silicone matte because it really is easy to clean up. But look at how neon that is. I'm so in love with that. Okay, for our sentiments, I have, I am using the, uh, oh my gosh, the birthday wishes die. I have die cut the shadow part from white cardstock and I'm cutting the letters from black cardstock. So one of them says birthday wishes and the other one says let's eat cake. I thought I was going to make a third card so I had die cut three sentiments but I only ended up making two because one of the cards just it did not turn out good. So I just scratched that and kept the two cards. I am using this Pick Pro tool from scrapbook.com. They sent it to me in, in my package and it's got this, you know, the little poiky tool at the end. I call it poiky. And then you have your little pick up tool on the other end. And I am in love with this. This is the first time I've used it and I love it. So I have some artist glue that I'm using from scrapbook.com and I'm going to adhere this to the, oh my gosh, my, my mind just drew a blank, adhere this to the white shadow. I did keep the dot to the eye in my cardstock. So when I laid that over, I was able just to push out the dot and not lose it. So I try to keep it in my cardstock when possible so I don't lose it. And then I'm trying to get this die out and one little piece just was stuck. So this says, let's eat, which I think is cute. Let's eat cake. And I love that these sentiments have two different fonts. And I think that's fun. And you know, they're kind of a bigger size, which I think is perfect for cards like this because it's kind of all about the background because you have this awesome lunar paste and these fun colors. So I personally want to see a lot of this background. So I don't want my sentiment to take up the whole card, but these are a good size. Okay, let's use the pickup end of our tool here. So it's like this little sticky end and I can just pick up each one of my letters and I kept all my little pieces in my uh, sort and stack trays, which I have this, I use the small ones a lot. I do also have the big ones. And when I'm making like a lot of stuff on a card, I use them all and they are really helpful to not be losing die cut pieces or die cuts. So you can see I have the actual dies and my die cut pieces in there, which is really super helpful. But look at how cute that sentiment is. I love it. Let's put our other one together. We're gonna spell out wishes. So I'm just adding a little bit of liquid glue using my pickup tool. This is the Pick Pro. And then I can put those right into place. I opted obviously for the white background so it will stand out against our dark backgrounds. And I do feel like these cards definitely lean more towards guys not that girls wouldn't love it but because it's kind of darker and not so girly which is good because I don't tend to make a lot of masculine cards so I kind of thought that even though you could totally give this to a girl and you know we would love it too especially if we grew up in the 80s <laughs> let's add that s there I'm going to add these cards to a white a2 size card base I did trim down that one on the left slightly smaller. I'm gonna add some foam adhesive strips behind my sentiments. You guys know I love dimension on my sentiments and especially because everything else on the card is flat, even though it's small dimension with that lunar paste, but then this just pops up off the page. So I'm gonna center that. This one is gonna be on the right just a little bit and I want to finish off using some pops of color. This is black magic, so it's a black glitter, which I thought would be a lot of fun. So I'm just gonna add a few of these little dots. I'm making bigger and smaller dots with this. And then on the Let's Eat Cake card, I'm gonna add it to the centers of those starbursts, but I'm calling them fireworks, so whatever you wanna call it. Okay, let's take a look at these up close. I love this so much. Please, again, let me know down in the comments which color you love the most. These were such fun projects to make, and I cannot wait to use these lunar pastes again. Thank you guys so very much for stopping by and watching. Thank you again, scrapbook.com. I hope you guys enjoyed these projects, and I hope you have a wonderful day.